basket. Russell Sprout. I have my Bible. I think I have everything. Russell Sprout. I need. It's time I to start. Else I need. Oh, sorry, Pastor. We're Mario. recording. Oh, we've started recording. Sorry, I didn't realize that. Okay, okay, let's start. Hi, kids. It's me, Russell Sprout. How are you all doing? I hope you've had a great week. I have a special announcement to make, but I'm not going to make it yet because I'm going to make it at the end of the video because I want to tell you all about the Bible story and how Jesus is helping people. Do you remember what we talked about last week? That Jesus is what? That's right. He is powerful. Jesus is so powerful that he loves to help people so much. And you know what? All week long I've been reading about how Jesus healed people. And whenever there was a need, he was there helping people because he cared for them so much. But there's this one miracle I read, and I think it's one of my favorite miracles. I could not believe it that he did this. And it's in Matthew chapter 14, verses 13, all the way to verses 21. I want you to read it with your parents, but I'm going to tell you all about it anyways. Maybe you can tell your parents that you guys can read it together and you can talk about it together. And then when I make that announcement, maybe you guys can work together as a family to help in this awesome thing that we're going to do. So here's what happened. Jesus was talking to these people all day long. And it wasn't just a few people. It was a lot of people. Now the Bible tells us that there were 5,000 men and then there must have been also women and children. I think there must have been at least 10,000 people and they were all hungry. They must have been getting so hungry because they were spending all of this time with Jesus all day long. And the disciples, they came to Jesus and they said, Jesus, I think it's time that you send these people away. Let them go to the grocery store or maybe to get some fast food because they are hungry. They need to eat. They're kind of getting grumpy. But Jesus said, you know what? I think we need to do something different. He looked at the disciples and said, you know what? Grab the food and you feed them all. And the disciples says, we can't feed them all. We don't have enough food. All we have is five pieces of bread and two fishes. How are we going to feed all of these people with such little food? So Jesus did a miracle, an awesome, awesome miracle, the greatest miracle ever. Well, I, I think it was great because I like food. Like I said, I really, really like food. He actually took the food, took the bread and the fishes, and he did something that maybe all of you do every single day. He thanked the Father. That's right. Do you do that at dinner time maybe? Do you thank Jesus for the food that you're about to eat? Maybe you pray with your parents. Maybe you do it at lunchtime at school. Or maybe you do it for breakfast. Maybe you do it even when you're going to have ice cream. I do it too when I have to eat ice cream. Because I'm hoping that there is, it never ends. It continues. It never ends. Just like the miracle Jesus did. So he took the bread. He took the fishes and he said... Father, thank you so much for this food that we have. He probably even prayed and said, help me feed all of these people, Father. Amen. Wow, that must have been an awesome prayer. Do you know why? Because the Bible tells us that he gave the food to the people and they all ate. They all had enough food. Isn't that awesome? Actually, not only did they all have enough food, every person there, all the men and all the women and all the children, but the Bible tells us they had so much left over. And they probably took it and gave it to other people so that they could eat too. See, Jesus did this awesome miracle from a little bit to a lot. And the reason Jesus did this miracle is because they were all very hungry. And Jesus is powerful and wants to help people when they are hungry. He doesn't want people not having enough food. And that's what my announcement is. You see, there's a lot of people who don't have enough food, just like these people in our story. And as a church here, we've been trying to help everybody every single week. 
Every Thursday, there are people who come to the church and we give them a little bit of food. It's called a food bank. Now, we're running out of food at our food bank, so we may not have enough food to give to some people soon. So we are asking everybody that on April 1st, and you have to finish your homework because it's a Thursday, we are asking everybody to come by from the church and to bring a little bit of food. And I want you to all help too, kids, because we need to all do it together. So maybe grab a little bit of your allowance, or maybe just go grab a can from somewhere, and let's all buy a little bit of food. And on April 1st, between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m., you can drive over here with your parents, and you can bring the food to the church. You can bring it to here, and then what we'll do is we'll bring it inside, and we'll give it to the people who uh, don't have enough food. That's my announcement. You see, and then we'll be just like Jesus, doing an awesome miracle, helping lots and lots of people every single week. See, Jesus wants us to do that. Can you imagine if on that night, on April 1st, we had so much food that we had to put it away and so that we can help people even the next week and the week after and the week after? That would be awesome. And it's a good way for us to remember because it's just before Easter. Yeah, that's right. It's just before Easter. And just like Jesus, he did the greatest miracle that he came and he gave his whole life for us. We can help other people. And that's what Jesus wants us to do. So let's all come together. Let's all grab some food. Can you imagine if we had so much food that we didn't know what to do? Let's say all of a sudden we come on! Wow! Look at this! We have peas! We have cereal! We have pasta! We have so much food everywhere! Even soup! You know what kids? Let's all help on April 1st. Go get some allowance and let's buy some food. And let's go into our cupboards and let's get some food. And bring it to the food pantry. Let's all do our part to help so that everybody can have some food during Easter. Okay kids, I'll miss you. Have a great week. Bye!